out there in the wild world of YouTube. Hope you're all doing good today. My name is Robert, and I am here with a video called My Charvel Story. So before I get going, I'd love to hear some of your guys' stories about your guitars. The point of this video isn't necessarily about just if you own a Charvel. It's about your guitar. Like you, Eventually you find one guitar that just meshes with you very, very well. And it could be a Strat, a Telecaster, um, you know, any kind. I'd love to hear about it in the comment section, or even if you upload a video, send me the URL. I'd love to check it out. But, um, so this is my Charvel. So I've had it, I believe, two years now. It's a Japanese-made Charvel SoCal Pro Mod. <laughs> still stock. I haven't done much to it other than adding a push pull pot to it. I, I was happy with the pickups. There were pickups I wanted to use anyway, so it, it kind of like worked out pretty good for me. But kind of in the beginning, let's see, when did I first find out about Charbels? I started playing guitar when I was 15 years old, and well actually when I was about 16 years old. I'm 24 now, and I found out about Charbel guitars that same year because I was a huge 80s metal fan and my um, my mom bought me it was like a compilation CD and one of the songs on it was Round and Round by Rat. And I absolutely love at the time I didn't know who the guitar player was I'm like whoever this guy is he has the coolest style of playing guitar, and I looked him up, and I noticed it was his um, Charvel that had, has the swords on it. I love it, and I'd love to own one of his snakeskin ones. But I was just like, that's the coolest looking guitar. Because I love Fenders, but I'm not a single coil kind of guy. And um, I didn't, at the time, know about modding guitars or anything, but I saw saw that guitar, and I'm like, I want a Charvel. And just was obsessed with them, and, and loved them for years and years and years. And um, just being a 16-year-old kid, you know, obviously affording a... Um, you know, a pretty high-end guitar or something isn't always in the in the budget when you don't have a job. So I just kind of went on with my guitars and, and kept playing. And then a few years back, um, I noticed they came out with this one. I was actually looking at the San Dimas. <laughs> calling around trying to find a music store that had them and I found one and I, it was a white San Dimas is what I wanted and I, I really wanted a USA made um, I'm from the US and I really like to to buy that kind of stuff and I called them and they said they had one and we drove it was like an hour and a hour and a half away to this place just to try it out and um, we got there and the people and I won't say the music store because it really um, upset me when we got there but they said you know oh we don't we don't have that guitar. And I was like, I called yesterday and you guys said you did. So they had the Japanese made ones, which I wasn't going to like shoot them down just because they weren't made in the USA. So I played the San Dimas and they had a red one. They didn't have a white. And I liked it, but I didn't love it. And the guy said, well, here, try this one. And he went back there and he brought out a Charvel wild card and this one. I tried the wild card and I didn't really like it. And um, then I tried this one. I didn't hate any of them. It just, they didn't like fit like a glove, like when people say they, they pick up a guitar and it just fits their hands. And I plugged this one in, and it was just incredible. I absolutely loved it. If you want to see the actual video of the day that I went and tried out both the guitars, um, click right here on the screen. I'll link it. I actually recorded it before I ever started like vlogging or any of that stuff. So that's kind of cool. I have that memory to look back on. But I played it and absolutely fell in love with the guitar. And I sat there and probably played it for like 30, 40 minutes. My wife was finally like, all right, well, you know, make a decision. And I was just like, Ugh, I don't know. So then we went home, and the next day I was like, I have to have this guitar. So we drove back down there, got the guitar. <laughs> literally been hooked on playing this thing ever since. It's my go-to guitar. A lot of people ask me in comments, like, why do I always play this guitar? I have different guitars. I have, you know, um, American Strats, all kinds of different stuff, but just this guitar, it, it does everything I want. I can have that crunchy sound if I want to. I can, um, you know, I put the push-pull pot in so I can flip it to a single coil, and I can just do everything with this guitar. So why wouldn't I just use this one for everything? And I, I practice on it. I take it to work with me. It's just, to me, this is a perfect guitar. If you're not familiar with the Charvel company, 
please go check them out. They have some insanely cool guitars in pretty much any style you could want. They just brought these guitars back. Now they're made in Mexico. So um, if you were one of the few people who wanted to get one and then the Japanese factory closed down, no fear because they've brought them back. They're just made in Mexico. And they also have a new series. I haven't got to try, uh, try them yet, the Desolation. And I would love to try some of those guitars out. Unfortunately, there's no Charvel dealers around here anymore. But um, yeah, I would absolutely love to try one of those. But that's my Charvel story. I've been hooked ever since. My Charvel's name is June. Gotta name your guitars. And, you know, that's pretty much it. Hope to hear some of your guys' stories. If you would, please subscribe. You can go check out Charvel on Facebook. They post all kinds of cool uh, pictures. They've shared some of my pictures before. And it's just kind of a cool little community of Charvel geeks and nerds. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.